Hi everyone, in this lecture, I want to tell you about the course detail. How is this course is designed and how you learn can get the most of this course. You know yourself and you know how you learn the best. Think this course as a two course into one. The first part is the non-technical aspect of the interview. These are the skills you needed throughout your career to get edge over the competition and make sure that you have high probability of getting the job. The first section is the getting the interview. In this, we will be covering how do you build your resume, how to make up for little experience, how to build your LinkedIn profile, how to build your portfolio, how to email recruiters, where to find jobs and when you are ready to apply. Once done, we will be checking out non-technical interview questions. In this section, we will be checking out top non-technical interview questions such as tell me about your problem you solve, why do you want to work for us? What to ask the interview when interview gets ends? Tell me about yourself. What is your biggest weakness? And we'll be covering all the tips and tricks and how to answer these questions. Next, we'll be covering the technical aspect of this course that is zero to hero in data science. Don't get overwhelmed by looking this mind map graph. We'll be covering everything in each very much detail. The first thing we'll be covering is GitHub Masterclass. In this, we'll be covering what are, what are Git commands and how do you pull requests and merge it. Then we'll be moving on to the next section that is Python for Applied Data Science. This is one of my favorite section. In this, we'll be covering Python basics, data structures, programming fundamentals, and we will be building two projects using Python. First, that is play Atari games using Python. And next, it is web scrapping. Once done, we'll be learning R for Applied Data Science. We'll be covering how what is R basics, why do you want to learn R, what are the R data, si data types, R visualization techniques, and we'll be building two R visualization dashboard. Next, we'll be covering mastering the SQL section. In this, we'll be learning what is SQL, basic SQL commands such as create, select, update. Then we'll be learning advanced SQL commands such as joins, rank. Then we'll be building project using SQL and Python, that is to do project. Once done, and next, we will be learning deep dive into data science. This is the core section of this course. We'll be learning what is data science, how do you manipulate data, how, what is data preparation and pre-processing. We'll be using what is data visualization, how to use matplot and seaborn libraries. We'll be checking out basic graph and plots techniques. Then the core section of this course is model building. We'll be checking out supervised versus unsupervised regression classification, clustering, and when then we'll be moving on to deep learning. Once done, we will be checking out how to deploy models. This is In this, we'll be checking how to create a model API, and then we'll be learning how to deploy this model. Once we have learned how to uh, the deep dive into data science section, we'll be checking out data science interview question. This is the fun section in this course. We'll be checking how do you answer technical question, we will be checking out Amazon data science questions, Google data science questions, and we'll be ch I will be providing you top interview questions. In the next section, we'll be learning how to contribute to open source. Once you have learned how to contribute to open source, this will set you apart from the rest of the crowd. So you have three options with this course. The course is structured in such a way that you understand the topic, build the fundamental, and connect the dots in the interview. First option is fast tag which is non-technical side of this course. This is for the student who has technical knowledge but lacks non-technical skills. Second option is data science track. This is for the student who have non-technical skills but lacks technical skills. Third option, which I would recommend to completely follow the lecture in order. Even though you say, hey Abhijit, we already have some knowledge in fast track or we have some knowledge in tech track, but, but you might get some insight that you might not know. We will be covering each section in much detail and depth knowledge and after this course ends, you will be ready to crack any data science job out there. So how to succeed in this course? First, join our Discord community. Try to communicate with fellow students, tutors out there and discuss if you have any doubts out there. Next, do deliberate practice. In this course, we have chosen top data science question. So instead of looking at the answer right away, try to attempt the question. Also, we have taken top data science question for each section. So when real interview takes way, you might find things easy. Next, take breaks. This might sound a little bit odd, 
but when it when you feel like you are just watching video and you are not understanding any topic stop and take break you might not able to finish this course in week it would easily take one month to finish this course remember this is course is not sprint it's marathon next try to complete this course fully instead of bits with this i am very much excited let's get started and land our dream job in data science